Ventasilurum, as it was known to the Romans nearly 2,000 years ago. Boreda Croesoi Cymru. Yes, good morning and welcome to Wales. That's right, I've got a unique video for you today. Yes, I'm doing a bit of parkrun tourism and I'm in Wales. I know, I know, but it's a very unique parkrun this is. This is the Seven Bridge Parkrun. As the word implies, there's a bridge, so we'll be running across the bridge from here in Wales, across to England, and then back into Wales. Yes, that's right. How unique is that? So sit back, relax, and let's enjoy this wonderful parkrun. On the drive down towards the parkrun, as I was ahead of schedule, I thought I'd pull over at a motorway service. Just stopped at a motorway service station because I need a uh, toilet stop. But you can tell it's a bank holiday weekend here in the UK because it's not even um, 7.30 in the morning. The service station is absolutely packed. But the other giveaway that it's a bank holiday weekend is it's pouring with rain. Yep, that's right. So yes, out of the service station. Thankfully the rain has abated literally as I got into the service station. But it has been peeing it down. And I've never seen so many people here at this service station. I've normally stopped here many, many times on the way to races. Admittedly, it would be a Sunday morning, but around this time, maybe a little later. So uh, where are all these people going? 7.30 in the morning. So they would have started from somewhere. The caravan and camping park out there is absolutely full. Anyway, onwards to the park run. Now, whilst the rain had abated a little bit from the journey on the way down, we're now coming into Wales and heading to the Severn Bridge itself. What a spectacular view. Absolutely couldn't wait to run over this bridge as part of the park run. And literally, as I crossed over the Severn Bridge itself, I arrived at the start of where the park run would be. An absolute unique location, unique fissure, as I'll describe as we go through now this is, the, this is the classic can you guess where i am now yeah it's a bit of a giveaway on the uh, the graffiti on the wall here yes seven bridge park run i know and uh, what's wonderful is whilst despite it was pouring with rain all morning on the way here the rain has stopped here so the, the sun shines here in wales and this is going to be a quite unique park run for me or for, for anyone really because we're going to cross Two borders, yes. Right now I'm in Wales and we're going to run across the bridge into England, turn around and come back. Yes, how simple is that? But yeah, it's the Severn Bridge. I was driving over that earlier this morning and uh, yes, it brings many happy memories here because I used to live here in Wales for many years, studied in uh, South Wales in Cardiff and also lived not far from here as well. So yes, a lot of going back in memory lane and as it's a bit of tourism depending on the weather can't promise anything but I might take you on a bit of a mini tour around this area and some of the historical sites that I used to enjoy visiting so I best go and get changed and get ready for this park run yes because I'm here pacing someone I know so let's get going Oh yes, the joys of having a camper van. I can quickly get changed in here and head out to the park run. It's literally just a few yards away. So next you'll see is camera on chest and we'll be running across that bridge. I'm all changed and ready to go. So I said a little fib that I'll be, it is attached ready on the chest strap, but I thought get a quick clip in. It's now started raining. So I don't know how this is going to look on camera, but I'll film it anyway. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I'll be pacing around 20, 21 minutes for uh, Jonathan, who uh, is one of the athletes that I coach. So we'll see how we're gonna get on today, yeah? So let's go to it. Nothing to it, Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. One side got changed as it was raining. It was a relief to get under the cover of the tunnel here at the start and lots of people taking their photos with that street art, wall art, whatever you may call it, absolutely unique and loved it. Lots of people, over 200 runners there were, all waiting here and we had the briefing, obviously undercover, which was a great relief and lots of milestones and tourists were there including myself so we started our walk out 
to the start of the park run and as you can see the rain is already pouring down so yes it was quite a um, let's say start of the park run before it actually started and as you can see the rain is absolutely pouring down but what to do about the weather there is apparently amazing views across the bridge on a clear sunny day but today wasn't that day bank holiday weekend rain so we got to the start and we're there ready to go as i was looking to put in a real snappy run i thought let's go towards the front and get ready to go so before we knew it the starters said oh and away we're off so off we went like a flyers and then heading back and finishing in an amazing time yes it's all sped up but you will see oh my word how tough was that very, very tough conditions, let alone the uh, rain, but quite windy, as you can imagine, on a suspension bridge. But hey, it's done. I'm going to dry out. <laughs> Wetter than an otter's pocket, I think the phrase is. But hey, you know, it's uh, August bank holiday here in England. So yes, it's guaranteed rain. Yes. So as you do after a park run, you've got to go for a quick coffee with everyone. And would you believe, obviously me being chatty adventurers here, we're going into a coffee shop called Chatterbox. How cool is that? So let's go and have a chat now. Once the cake and coffee was consumed, now it's time for some tourism. Despite the rain, I'm determined to do a bit of park run tourism. So I've arrived at none other than oh yes, Chepstow Castle, a beautiful castle here in Monmouthshire. The, the town of Chepstow, yes. I mean, I'm not going to take you inside because it is literally <laughs> raining quite a lot, but uh, it does bring back some great uh, memories when I was last here. In fact, yeah, it's nearly 40 years ago. I know it's showing me age now uh, since I was last at this very point. And uh, we're going to head off to some Roman history. Hopefully the rain will abate and I can take you around a beautiful village which was an old Roman town here in uh, Monmouthshire. So, Chepstow Castle, beautiful. Now, here's a little random fact. Literally a few miles outside of Chepstow is a small, big village, small town called Carwent. And there's a Roman town here. Yes, I know that it's thousands of years old. So I'm gonna take you on a little mini tour around the uh, Roman town here and no doubt there'll be some baths, temples and all that type of stuff. So let's head round and have a look. Tarsilurum, as it was known to the Romans nearly 2,000 years ago. This place was once the largest Roman civilian settlement in Wales, but today the town walls and the other building remains here are in the care of Cadw, the Welsh Assembly Government's historic environment service. They have been the subject of extensive excavation and conservation work in recent years. As you explore around the town, you will find green way markers and numbered information panels at various points, which should help to explain where you are. The panels carry reconstructions and other illustrations of the buildings and of what Roman life was like. Inside. There you go, who knew, eh? Hey? An information point here that talks to you. Thank you, Karu, Welsh. Historic. Let's go and have a walk around the uh, Roman walls. Literally right across from the main car park in Carwent, you could see the Roman remains of the walls. Almost 2,000 years old these remains are. And let's take you along on a walk around the town walls. Look at this, eh? How magnificent is this? Old Roman walls from almost 2,000 years ago. I don't know about you, but history really fascinates me. And seeing this here at uh, Carwent is quite remarkable. Just having a chat with some of the locals to make sure I'm on the right path. Go around and head back into the uh, town. Hopefully we're going the right way. I've got some cornfields here on my right and the Roman wall on the left. As I continued to walk around the Roman town walls, it was hard for me to take in to believe that this was one of the largest Roman towns in Britain back almost 2,000 years ago. And some of the walls were in better condition or maybe repaired, 
from the state of disrepair from what they were. But let's see more. One of the things I love about the Cadu Welsh heritage sites is they have a lot of signage around the buildings, walls and all this type of stuff explaining what we have here and here it's telling me it's the south wall a lot of description and history about it so if you don't know much about the history of where you are there's lots of this signage where you can read up and become an absolute history buff on this section of the south wall there was some steps that i decided to take a walk up and get a view of what it may have looked like from the town walls across to the countryside there back 2000 years ago who knows if how these fields looked and how the view was but it absolutely looked magnificent and then there were some further steps along the southeast wall that i decided to walk up also and take a little walk along the top of the walls and take in the scenery and view there and as you can see to the right there was a main road passing by so this was the southeast corner I continued to proceed along the wall here and then I came back down to the steps that took me all the way to East Gate Corner and that was almost the end of the walk for me along the walls. Having just had a lovely walk along that castle section we've now come out on East Gate so I'm going to go back into the town this way of Carwent and see what else we find within the town walls. Walking along the main high street in Carwent, I quickly came across the main post office and it felt like almost where was Postman Pat and his black and white cat. That's how I felt when I saw this particular post office. Continuing along the high street, I came to an opening which saw some Roman remains and this was the actual remains of the Roman temple for the town, which was quite a sight. Let's take some more in now. So just here, this is the Roman temple. And there we go. How's this for a better angle of the Roman temple? So with the Roman temple here behind me, I can see some other old monument. Let's go and have a walk over here and see what we have over on this side here. So we're now approaching the Forum Basilica. There we go, eh? Marketplace. So here, the Forum Basilica, which from the diagrams that were shown, this would have been the market town area so your market stalls which we still have to this day here in Britain various market outdoor markets yes I tell you it's absolutely fabulous being here steeped in history as we come into another field we see more remains here of what is called the courtyard house so heading away from the courtyard house behind me I see some more monument buildings along here so let's see what we have here as I quickly turn the camera around there you go and what buildings do we have here shops and houses there you go so here at the car park literally just around the corner from the car park for this wonderful town there's a whole host of plaques where you can read up about the history of this town and it was basically we had the main fortress at car leon which is about eight miles up the road that'd be the main fortress roman fortress and this was the main colonial town for this area fascinating history absolutely love it and i could talk even more reading from these but just look it up and if you're going to come on the seven bridge park run i would highly recommend coming to this town and having a look around rain or no rain yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i've absolutely loved sharing this with you hope you've enjoyed the park run as well seven bridge park run totally unique yes it may have been better if it wasn't windy and raining but you know what 
still a great experience, loved it. In a, coming in a time, I think my official time was 2021. And well done to JP on your epic time as well. Course record from what I recall, well done. See you all very soon, love you all. And in the next video, I'm gonna update you. As you've seen, I ran another 20 minute park run. There was something wrong with my body, so I'm gonna do an update and let you know what's happened in the past week following on from my video that I posted regarding what's wrong with me. There was something wrong. Thankfully, nothing, I don't know how you look at it, serious, not so serious, but I saw a professional having it treated and that's how I'm able to uh, do this. So keeping things in check, still a lot of things uncertain regarding uh, Berlin Marathon, but that'll, I'll do that on the next video because this is more about the park run. So see you at the next video. Thanks for watching this. Give yourself a medal, thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. Love you all. Take care. Bye, 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 bye.